Hi everyone, Spider-Man 1991 here. Welcome to Dark Avenger Inc. Plus. Today I'm doing an in-depth review of Superior Spider-Man number one. Okay, uh, this is the first issue that kicks off the new ongoing with Otto Octavius in Peter Parker's body as the new Superior Spider-Man. Uh, for Otto's first adventure, he has to deal with a new Sinister Six. Uh, unfortunately, it's made up of a bunch of B and C list Spider-Man villains. It's pretty much the Shocker, uh, new, a new Beetle, Overdrive, Speed Demon, Boomerang, and the Living Brain, who, as I recall, probably only made about two appearances. That, that's uh, two two appearances in Amazing Spider-Man. That's it. And anyways, pretty much, um, Otto, you can see that Otto is definitely a different Spider-Man. He does, you know, I mean, he has all the trash talking down for that part, but. Uh, he does actually leave the crime scene, leave the fight, like, just because he thinks, okay, this is beneath me. And right as he's leaving, uh, Boomerang throws, throws, well, an electric boomerang that almost hits Spider-Man. Well, actually, I don't think it was an electric, I think it was an exploding boomerang. And instead of hitting Spider-Man, it actually comes around, it's about to hit a cop, but then Otto almost instinctively goes and blocks the explosion from the policeman to save his life. And then, uh, but unfortunately, the six get away. Except the living brain. The living brain was damaged, and Spider-Man has it shipped to Horizon, where, as Peter Parker, he, he can examine it. Also, while Peter's, or Otto, is examining the living brain, uh, Ma Max Modell comes in and talks to Peter about, about some resources he, and materials he's requesting, and that while it does, he, do, he knows that Peter Parker builds stuff for Spider-Man, it does seem like he's building very powerful and very dangerous weapons. So obviously that, so obviously Otto Octavius is still a little insane. And, <clears throat> and also Otto's ego, it still, Otto still has a problem with his ego because as Max leaves, he says something like, oh yeah, you'll definitely be remembered for this, Peter. Peter. And then he just thinks to himself, has a moment where he thinks to himself like, ugh, uh, no matter what I do, I'll just be remembered as Peter Parker, not Otto Octavius. Wait, no, I am... He's go, and he goes like, wait, no, I am Peter Parker now. All Peter Parker's victories are my victories! Like, he has a moment of identity crisis there. And he does, And later he goes on a date with Mary Jane, which... Okay, let me put it this way. When Otto... When he's on a date with Mary Jane, he makes Peter Parker look like a total D-bag. That, that's all I'm saying. That's really all I'm going to say about about his relationship with Mary Jane right now, and, but, anyways, back to the fight with Sinister Six, um, during the earlier fight, Otto was able to, uh, tr put spider tracers on them, which also let him listen in on the, listen in on the Six when they're busy planning their next phase of their plan, which was to rob Horizon of so another machine, and, but this time, Spider-Man was prepared. As Peter Parker, he set up a bunch of traps before the Six got there, and he's able to take them all out quickly. But right when he's fighting Boomerang, he nearly beats Boomerang to death until suddenly he stop until suddenly something stops him from killing him. And it's revealed that the thing that stops him is the real Peter Parker. That's right. Peter Parker is a ghost now. He's still inside Otto, he's still inside uh, his brain, but he's not the dominant personality. He's in there, but just not active. I think. Pretty much, Pete, and this was something that Chris, Dark Avenger C86, said in his review from uh, Avenging Spider-Man 15.1, was that all these sort of impul impulsive uh, things Otto's doing to save people, like in Avenging Spider-Man 15, he pretty much instinctively punched a, cr a robber who was robbing a store, uh, and earlier in Superior Spider-Man, he was... He stopped, uh, cr he instinctively jumped in the way of the exploding boomerang that saved the policeman's life. So I think all that instinctive stuff, it's Peter making sure no one dies while Otto is the superior Spider-Man. And also the issue ends with Peter Parker swearing that he'll find a way to get back, get back his body and get Otto out of it. Alright, well, superior Spider-Man is definitely a great story. Okay, I think it's... There, a new way, uh, it's definitely a new way of how we view Spider-Man now instead of, you know, it being Peter Parker. It's actually a supervillain who took over, took over the hero's body and now he's the hero. 
or at least trying to be the hero. And also we discuss, we learn, and I know a lot of people were very angry and sad that Peter Parker died, but good news, Peter's still alive, but he's just pretty much a subconscious entity in his own mind. So he has to pretty much figure out a way how he's going to get back and take control of his body and give out of the boot. Um, but I think if you're pretty much, I think if you read this and you go like, oh man, Peter's going to come back really soon. Wrong, wrong. He, he's not going to come back that, he's not going to come back just like that. I think Dan is going to delay, is going to be patient, make us wait for the return of the real Peter Parker. Okay, it might be maybe a year or something, at least, at least maybe a year until Peter Parker starts, the real Peter Parker starts coming back and taking control of his mind. But, uh, yeah, Superior Spider-Man, I would highly recommend this to Spider-Man fans. I would say give the new issue, give the first issue a try, especially if you love Dan Slott's run, excuse me, on Amazing Spider-Man, okay? I, for one, loved it. I'm a huge, I'm pretty much a Dan Slott on Spider, Spider-Man Spider fanboy now. Um, so I would say give the first issue a try. If you liked it, I'd say stick around because it's, because this is definitely going to be a very interesting, interesting ride. Um, yeah, um, I give it maybe, I think I give it maybe about four out of five, four and a half out of five stars. It's just very good. I would definitely recommend this to people that they check it out. Um, yeah, Superior Spider-Man, awesome. So that's pretty much my in-depth review of Superior Spider-Man. Also, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscri subscribing to Dark Avenger Inc. Plus. We have a lot of good, good members on this channel. If you want to check those guys out, they're really awesome. And that's all, all for now. Spider-Man 1991 saying see you later.